brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Yes! I got a brain! Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Sheesh! You and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Oh, you found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Are you trying to take it? Because you don't think I deserve it! No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> ah! Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. So, did you not see a girl come through here? Handsome, I'm not the stage director. I don't track the entrances and exits. Okay, what? I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. But finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and their energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great, but is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya! And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. And beneath us, I have... You should go familiarize... I'm ready to go back into... The okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were.
the performance, a simple boo will do. Our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Hagatha Home. Uh oh Which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Bonita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. You can get Bonita to take the stage again. And you're the star of my show, kid. here. Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too new to wake up. Everything under control there, Becky? Ah! Why did you say that? What have you heard? Everything's fine! Except that our production has no star. Got it. Suitcase tag. Hit. 
Looks like it needs a candle to work. I guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey! I guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of glorious, terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. So, are you ready for your big number? Did you put a candle in that spotlight and light it yet? No. But I'm about to. So, uh, five minutes, Miss Soleil. Thanks, Sonny. I'll 
believe you will- Thank you. Now where was I? <laughs> the president gave me that to keep me quiet about our affair. Please, you're making a mess! Oh, go ahead. I don't want any mementos of my failed career anyway. <laughs> Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight I will be playing the part of Gloria von Guten, 
the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Gloria must be in a good mood now. Gloria must be in a good mood now. School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Oh, <laughs> There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, ma'am. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If 
you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. You're not scared of that phantom, are you? No, it's not him I'm frightened of. It's that fat one who clings to the side of the theater like a blood-swollen tick sucking out its life. Ew. He's always been there, but he wasn't always that big and loud. I couldn't hear him much at all, really, until Gloria's mother hit the stage. He didn't like her performance either? No, I mean hit the stage, curse splat, jump from the catwalks while Gloria was in Paris. Ew. Yeah, that's what the janitor said, too. Now you see, that performance is exactly why we need to practice. Beat it, kid, I'm through. As long as Jasper and that phantom are out there, I'm staying back here, wallowing in my glamorous torment. The show must go on. Yeah, it must go on without me. As long as Jasper rolls and that phantom are out there. Sorry, kid. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. <laughs> Can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Benita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines! On a shoe! She should quit now, while she can still get a job as a nightlight. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars! If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. Later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway into the stage. Go, give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of 
joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action! Mother, mother, tell me to tell the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Huzzah! Forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Rejoice! For spring has beset in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a lingering!
Must be out of range. air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Becky, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, that one could use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me He was brave in thought. Yeah, just ride on by, sir. Around to help raise your poor daughter, jerk. Tasted excellence, and now you're back begging for another bowl of quality theater? Not really, but I think that if I find a play that moves the props around in just the right way, I can use them to get up to the catwalks and fight the phantom. Ooh, well, unfortunately for you, that's the last script I'll waste on this theater. I'm saving the rest. Just dig around the sets. I'm sure you'll find some horrible scripts in there. Oh, except do not do that, because they certainly would not help you get to the catwalks, which are very dangerous anyway, so give up. Sing, Bertie. La, la, la!
for you, ugly girl. scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay!
Somebody come help me drag this thing! Drag? No way! Oh look! The mailboat sank and everybody died! The end!
home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, Prop, is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And... action! No magic cloud in this set. Yes. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. <laughs> you 
are not welcome here. Hip! Hip. This Hip. is my sanctuary. Hip. You can walk away from the stage, young man, but show business will always be a part of you.
I see you down there. Hip! 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 <laughs> Just like Gloria's mother. Step will be your last. Anything but that. No, oh, treacherous child. You shall pay for angering. The yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. 
Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> hmm, how can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Tedious. 
Your moves are terrific and mechanical.
Listen to him? Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? Oh, now see. You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. Ha <laughs> ha! Le jeu de gloire est arrivé! Whatever. Everything's on fire! We're all gonna burn! Hip! Hip! Excuse me, sir? My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh, I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. You'll have to excuse me. I am busy losing a battle with my sanity here. For France! Oh, I like you want a court martial too? Very well, strapping. I got one for you. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and all. I can... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. Greetings, Dr. Lobotta. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotta. My eyes may be half gone. But I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock, covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotter, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. We are on our way back to town! Ah, oh, good move, mate. That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. 
Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... <laughs> wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The Matador! The Bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go! Ah! That is why I am here! Chained in more ways than you can see! A prisoner of art! A prisoner of art! Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Hey, how's that painting of Dr. Lobato coming along? You know, I'll deliver it for you as soon as it's finished. Silence! I am conceptualizing. What am I supposed to It's not like I can reach a regular rest when I am all chained up like this. <laughs> yep. That's okay. I'm used to getting beat. Let's take it to the chateau, boys! But I'm on the run now. Ready to give up that up. jacket now? Hey, I'm always ready to give up anything. What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Why aren't you attacking? We are on our way back to town. Hip! Milka's brain doesn't go invisible when I get close to it. Déchargé! Huh? I need to regroup back. A famine. soon, I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Crawler? What is the current situation? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Not why. Stop! Dang. 
dying! Get up and stop dying! Behind you, General. <laughs>